Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Munga Des Oracle. Welcome to my channel. This can be your reading if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. And today we are looking into his, her feelings. So it is a conversation between you and your person. This deck is for you, whether you are a man or a woman. And the other one is the person you are thinking of, your love interest. Okay, so this side is you and that side is them. So let's see what is your energy currently in this love connection you are thinking of. The answer is the dove piece. That's very beautiful. So you are flying free. You freed yourself from, I don't know, um, from your demons. You are on a healing journey and... Um, you may have even freed yourself from your person. I'm not sure yet. We will find that out. Let's see your love interests energy. What is their energy as we speak? What is their energy currently? Today is the full moon. I hope you are feeling well. If you are too overwhelmed, emotionally try to ground yourself we've got two cards showing up very interesting okay so you have peace dove with wings open flying high and they have the horse freedom you always have a choice and elephant resolve you will overcome any obstacles elephants are very caring loving feminine energy and i feel your person could be dealing with family so they could be in a third party situation and they are also possibly freeing themselves from this situation. It does feel like both of you are letting go of something heavy here. Well, let's see. So let's start with your person. I don't like that. Can't see the horse. So they are showing their back to you, walking away from you and you are just going higher so soaring higher and higher, um, letting go of anything that would held you down in the past. It's a ascension energy you have. They are more, more earthbound and you are spiritual, flying, flying high. So we are going to look into your person's energy and the conversation starter mm, right king of pentacles seven of pentacles and the death card so they definitely are ahead of a family um, they want to reap material financial reward for what they built in their life and therefore, this death card signifies an end, an end and a new beginning. Definitely an end of a cycle. So they are letting it go. And we will see what else it means because it's very significant. But before we do that, let's look into your side. What your response is. To this opening statement statement so it looks like they chose the third party over you because they invested financially in many ways in that situation okay so let's see your response two of cups king of swords and the lovers i so knew that the lovers is going to co come out so two of cups lovers king of swords I feel that you see them as the king of swords. They are very logical, very much uh, uh, stuck. Well, maybe not stuck, but functioning from a place which is valuing material things more than spiritual things. And um, 
you feel this is a mutual love connection, but you do feel also that there is a time to make a choice here in love. So very interesting. Okay. Let's see what else we can find out about this death card here. We've got the King of Cups on their side with the Moon and the Wheel of Fortune. So they do have that love for you, which may, they may may not express to you. They are facing their fears and they are hoping for a positive change in this connection. So that's what this death card is about. It needed to end. None of you could continue this the way it was before. And now they are facing some fears. How about you? What are you doing? Two of Wands, the Chariot and the Page of Cups. So you did make a decision to move forward, to focus on you, move forward on your past and you are um, not holding um, resentment or any bad feelings. You made peace with this is how it is. You can't do anything about it. Okay, so what they say to that? Yeah, they don't know what to do. So their head is not helping them anymore. They must connect with their, with their intuition in regards to this connection. And they know that. They sense that. They try to find a different approach. They try to find the light. But there is this queen of swords. I feel like, <clears throat> sorry, this is <clears throat> about some kind of clarity. And my throat is uh, seizing up. So they, they are not able to express something with uh, to you uh, maybe because they are afraid that you will just uh, cut them out but they already decided to move away from you so I, I will need to see that what that means so you are saying yeah I am I am independent in a way I so it is opposed to being codependent you could be in a relationship with someone else, but you are not attached to, to that person. And you know very well that this is the end of the cycle. However, you do feel like they left you out in the cold. So it's possible that they just disappeared without any explanation, ghosted you, or deliberately broke up with you and you feel that what they did was unfair so what they say is they are protecting themselves they are focusing on work and they are being the king of swords the way you see them cold emotionally ice cold Focusing on logic. And interestingly, it's coming with the Queen of Swords. I do feel this is some kind of... Uh, I, I would say battle. Both of you have the sword ready. And it's almost like you are trying to tell them something and it's falling on deaf ears. They just don't, they're just blocking you out. They don't want to hear what you have to say. Okay. And on your side, we've got the Four of Swords, the Five of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. So what you are doing, Virgo is accepting that you can't do anything about this. You are trying to heal your wounds, heal your heart, to grieve this situation. And uh, 
you are fighting for a prosperous new beginning with yourself. So you are choosing yourself. They chose the third party. You chose yourself. And I feel it in uh, chronologically, you chose yourself first because of their actions. And then they responded to you by choosing the third party. What I mean by choosing yourself is like uh, you stood up for yourself and they didn't like that. Okay, so what they say to this? Lots of obstacles, burdens, page of wands, the magician. So um, it's possible that they feel that this situation with you just adding to their burdens. It's too heavy. They don't have time for you. They don't have energy for you. They don't, can't care less. And um, the page of wands is the messenger for a passionate new beginning for them and that's the magician and i feel because we've got the death card and the wheel of fortune that after a while they might want to manifest you back into their life And you say to that, Queen of Cups, Eight of Cups, and the Fool, that you do love them, but you are walking away from them because of the way they treated you. You are not accepting from anyone to walk over you, to disrespect you. So you are flying. This is the fool taking a leap of faith and jumping into the unknown. Flying free. That's you, Virgo. Flying free. You gave it to the angels, to the universe, to your spirit guides. You said, I've done everything I could. I'm not going to suffer because of someone else's neglect. I showed them every way possible that I love them. And they cannot reciprocate that or don't want to. So I am just so done with this. Okay. What is absolutely sure that now, at this point, you both are letting it go, freeing yourself from the connection. There are feelings on both sides, but they don't want to commit to you. They chose the third party. They chose the material life. They are not choosing the spiritual. They are not flying there with you. They are freeing themselves but they are not even a unicorn. They are, so horse is the symbol of freedom, but they are earthbound. You are flying in the spiritual realm. Virgo, it does look like you have the fool, they have the magician. Um... The moment they realize they want to manifest you back in their life, they will see that this time you are the one who is not interested because they cannot, um, because you set your boundaries and because you know that your path is upward into the spiritual and you may have thought that they will come there with you, but it looks like they didn't. So I am asking the Island Time Love Oracle. Yeah, this uh, flying free on your side, neglect. They are neglecting you. 
these are the words that stand out today. Heart with a key. Well, definitely not standing. Karmic relationship reverse. Clock standing. Love call at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to take it as reversed because it was more reversed. What is for sure that divine timing is at play here. Time to heal. Next time takes time in time. So, because it's a general reading, now the crowd is splitting. So for some of you, what it means... Um, need time takes time well, I'm channeling from spirit for some of you not this lifetime for another group of you it is in time when the time is right when the healing takes place So the next time could be next lifetime. And the rest of you is just whenever the circumstances are right. Love call at the bottom. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you, letting you know. Um, if that's coming through, that's not going to come through very soon. Um, so what we see here is not getting together, not feeling like you are the one or they are the one. Um, this karmic relationship reversed is quite interesting. I'm going to look into that, but before I forget, let's just see who you could be dealing with, uh, why, what signs we are having here. So we've got Gemini, Cancer, sorry, uh, yeah, Cancer, and um, Aquarius, Capricorn, who are you, Pisces, um, Sagittarius, another Pisces, Virgo. These are possible signs you are dealing with. So um, I'm going to look into this karmic relationship reversed. What is that? What is that about karmic relationship reversed? Oh, I think this is about releasing a karmic cycle. Okay, give me some clarity on that, please. Karmic relationship reversed. Yeah, beginning. That's the fool again. And karma. Yeah. So, and wisdom. This is the word card. This is the judgment. And this is the fool. Three major arcana cards. So I feel that this is it. Um... You, Virgo, finish the karmic cycle and you are free. You can now do whatever your mission is, your soul mission, you can focus on that. You release the ancestral pattern, the karmic patterns, um, most of the behavior patterns. I do believe we are all healing our wounds in our entire lifetime, going deeper, higher, what, whatever way you want to see it. Um, You've done that. You have the new beginning. You have the four. You um, opened your wings. You connected with your higher self. You are growing into your higher self. For them, it is a new beginning. But this is when they are receiving their karma. So the cycle definitely finished. The word card comes out again. And it's judgment time. So whoever 
did the work is being released from the karma whoever didn't do the work yet is dealing with their karma now as it's very heavy okay so virgo i'm going to stop it here and we will continue on patreon to look into your person's thoughts emotions possible intentions or maybe uh, also where this connection is going. Because right now, your person abandoned the connection because they couldn't keep up with you going higher and higher. They weren't ready for that. They have to deal with their issues. So it was inevitable to... To leave the connection for both of you that's what i'm getting so please check out my website spiritual-wonders.com and look at the self-love course the membership offers lots of other things there which is worth looking into i also have a tiktok account which is um, uh, where i am doing readings for everyone it's not just for Virgos. If you are in a twin flame connection, you might want to check that out. And thank you so much for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting, and allowing my channel to grow. Sending you lots of love. Bye for now.